New horror support is dropping this month in the selection pack. Together as an engine, these cards can be splashed into almost any deck. The main reason why you might want to run this engine in your deck is because they can turbo out rank 8 XZ monsters and without using up your normal summon. The main deck has a standard Yumi deck with Ice Jades. You're going to need one Duamatef, one Happy, and three Emetsis. Emetsis is going to start your combo by discarding one random generic card and then searching for King Sarcophagus. King Sarcophagus will then activate, and then you'll be able to special summon any of your Happy, Dumatef, or Emetsi from the graveyard. To get them in the graveyard, you'll have to either discard them with Emetsi, or you can discard it with King Sarcophagus. Once you special summon them, then you can go into your rank 8 toolbox. Taking a look at the extra deck of our Yumi Horus deck, we have 8 rank 8 XZs. The flagship of all of these rank 8 XZs is going to be number 90 Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. This is because it, when your opponent activates a monster effect, you can detach one material from Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord and negate that monster effect. So this is going to be something you're going to be able to summon without using up your normal summon to negate hand traps like Ash Blossom or Nibiru before committing to your other strategies. We'll also have access to number 38 Hope Harbinger, which negates spells. Then we have High Radic Sky Dragon, which negates cards that target any of your cards on the field, graveyard, or banish zone. Something you might want to summon if you suspect your opponent has an Imperm or Called by the Grave that might disrupt your strategy. The last monster on this list with a negate is number 23 Lancelot. This one has a mandatory negation. The first effect that activates that turn, this card will just negate it. So you do have to be careful if you summon this on your turn. You want to make sure that you don't plan on activating any effects after you summon this monster. This card can also attack your opponent directly while it has XZ material. If it does any damage to your opponent, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls and destroy it. If you're playing a water deck that sometimes water locks, you may want to add at least one of your rank 8 water eggsies. The first on this list is Aegon the Sea Castrum. This one just banishes a random face down monster from your opponent's extra deck face up. And if you do, this card's attack becomes equal to that banished monster. And this is a, an effect that you can activate every single turn until the end of the duel. And because you can activate this effect on either player's turn, you can banish two monsters from your opponent's extra deck by your opponent's main phase one, pair this up with Kashtira Unicorn, and you're banishing four monsters. It also has a second effect during either player's turn. You can detach one material from this card, then target one of your opponent's banished Fusion Synchro or Eggsy monsters, return it to the extra deck. And if you do, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls of the same type. It's a pretty cool effect, though it's not very useful right now, seeing that Snake Eyes is a deck that only uses Link Monsters, and this effect doesn't work against Link Monsters. Next, we have Teardrop the Rika Queen. This has a powerful removal. It's a quick effect tribute, kind of like a Gamma Seal, but it doesn't give your opponent a monster. And then we have Dingrasu, another card that is used as a form of removal, but this one can also remove back row or monsters by just sending it to the graveyard. It's non-targeting, it's a very good form of removal. The last on this list is Zombie Vampire. This card just mills four cards from both players' decks, and then you can special summon one of them. This is going to be very useful because you're going to be able to mill Ice Barrier or mill Kairishen and special summon it. So let's see these cards in action. So Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord is the first card that we're going to summon with our Horse Engine. First, we'll discard our Ice Barrier with Emetsi, then we'll search for King Sarcophagus and draw a card. We'll activate King Sarcophagus. While King Sarcophagus is on the field, we can special summon any of our Horus monsters from the graveyard. So we'll special summon one right now. And then we'll activate the effect of King Sarcophagus to discard one of our cards from our hand and dump any of our Horus monsters to the graveyard. And then we'll special summon one of those Horus monsters. Now that we have two level eight bodies on the field, we can then access our rank eight XZs. We'll special summon our Photon Lord. So before committing to our Yumi combo, we now have a monster negation on the field without using up our normal summon. Another thing to note here is that if you do happen to have Horus monsters in your hand, you can always just discard one of them with your Ice Shade Ron because it is a water type. We'll activate Ice Shade Ron to discard a Duamatef and special summon a token. Then Synchro into Jameer with Ron and the token. And then we can special summon that Horus water monster from the graveyard. Now we can banish the Ice Barrier Trap card from our graveyard and then add Kairishin to the hand. And because we haven't used up our normal summon, we could just tribute that Horus with Kairishin. But we do have a Fish Sonar, so we're just going to be able to search for Electric Jellyfish, then normal summon the Electric Jellyfish. 
Use Jellyfish to send a Yumi from the deck to the graveyard and special summon Kairushin from the hand. Activate Kairushin, search for RC Stealth Attack, set RC Stealth on the field, and then pass the turn to the opponent. Before the opponent's main phase one, we'll flip over the C Stealth Attack, and then activate one of our Yumis from the graveyard, and now our opponent is locked out of summoning any more than one non-water monster. Now let's look at one more replay, this time with Zombie Vampire. We'll activate King Sarcophagus, send one of our Horus monsters from the hand, so then we can send another Horus monster from our deck to the graveyard. If you have King Sarcophagus on the field, then you can special summon your Horus monsters from the graveyard. Now that we have two level 8 bodies on the field, we can then Exe summon into one of our rank 8s. We're going to go ahead and summon our Vampire Lord. Vampire Lord will discard one of our Horus monsters and then mill four monsters from both players' decks. We'll special summon one of those monsters. We happen to mill a Jellyfish, so we're going to special summon Jellyfish. We also have uh, Sea Stealth Attack too, so we'll activate that. Then we're going to special summon our Horus monster from the graveyard and then link those two monsters into a SP Little Knight. Once you've used up Zambi Vampire's effect, it really does nothing while it's on the field, so we've replaced it with something that does something. Now we can banish the Ice Barrier Trap card from the graveyard and add Kairushin to our hand. We'll use the effect of Jellyfish to then special summon that uh, Kairushin. And if the opponent does negate us here, we still have Ice Shade Tremora to special summon Kairushin from the hand. We'll activate the effect of Kairushin to search for Sea Stealth Attack. And with the Ice Shade Ron, we'll discard the Ice Shade Tremora. Special summon the Ice Shade Ron and a level 3 token. And then using that level 3 token in Ice Shade Ron, we can then Synchro Summon into our Ice Shade Jameer. And then we can set RC Stealth Attack, pass the turn to the opponent. And on the opponent's turn, before the main phase 1, we flip over the Sea Stealth Attack and activate the other Yumi in the graveyard. So that's it for Yumi Horus. Horus adds two things for Yumi Control. It gives you a negation before committing to your combo, and it also lets you discard Ice Barrier or mill it with Zombie Vampire, so then you can increase the probability of getting Kairushin on your opening turn. 